What's up everybody, this is James with Clearwater Hydrofoils and tonight I'm just going to do a video explaining part by part how the kit um, goes together. Um, this is the same design, same dimensions as the foil that you see in my video. Um, the foil that I do, the ready to fly as it's called on my website. Um, this is just the kit version of that. Um, so this is for you to build and it's very easy to build doesn't take too much experience and I'm gonna walk you through it step by step okay so the kit comes with these five pieces um, these are the five pieces you need for the foil and um, there'll be a sheet in the box that also recommends um, my recommendations for fiberglassing um, so take a peek at that and each part where it's necessary has markings on it this is the fuselage and you can see here is exactly where the front wing fits to the fuselage here is where the mast goes between these two lines and here is where the rear wing um, fits and the angle is already cut in um, so you don't need to worry about it all you have to do is just take the parts line them up and get going so it's as easy as that okay so I'm going to take you through the lamination process of the parts and for the rear wing the front wing and the mast um, it's pretty much all the same uh, the same process I like to use 3.7 ounce um, fiberglass the reason why is because it's thin so you can easily um, bend it around places where you need it to bend um, and having it stick without any air getting underneath. Um, of course you can always use um, something different if you choose to. Um, there's plenty of ways to do this. Um, I'm just going to explain the easiest bare bones way to do it. Um, and you don't even need anything special if you if you really want to go the easy way and the cheapest way you know you can use the polyester um, fiberglass resin from Home Depot and the fiberglass mat that they have there I've that's how I started making them um, so you can use that if you want okay so I'm just gonna use paper um, as a stand-in for fiberglass so imagine this being your fiberglass mat. Um, basically, you just put your part down on the, you know, unroll your fiberglass, put your part down, give yourself some, some room, um, and yeah. So you just take your part, put your fiberglass on top of it, and then soak it out. And the easy thing with the fiberglass is as you're soaking it out it becomes transparent and you can see everything if there's a little tiny air bubble you'll be able to see it and you'll be able to work it out um, you know you work all along the edges and um, it helps to just put a little a little something underneath this just to hold it off the bench while you fiberglass so the edges can droop down and stick to the edge so you get that nice strong edge um, without any air and then follow the recommendations as far as layering goes um, and yeah wait for that to harden and then so your glass is cured it's ready to trim you can just take a razor blade and trim along the edges so for so here would be a trimmed you can imagine Hopefully you can see it in the camera. You get that trimmed right up to the edge. Um, and then, so imagine that going all around this part. You have a nice tight trim. And then you flip it over and it's time to do the other side. And you do it just as before. Take your piece, put it there, wet it out, um, and let it cure. And what a little trick that I've learned is so once you've already done this side 
you just glass the back side. Um, and so this is going to be, the glass is going to be drooping like this, and it's going to be cu cured. And so what a quick tip is just take extra epoxy or polyester resin, whatever you're using, and just dribble a line along the seam going all the way around um, and let that harden. And so that gives you a nice edge um, to connect the two and also give, you know, you'll have about one or two millimeters of, you'll see the wood and then there'll be one or two millimeters of um, resin that's cured. And then you can use that one or two millimeters to shape your edge, you know, with sandpaper going all around the part. Um, so that's an easy way to hand lay up these parts. Otherwise, you can use a vacuum if you want, um, but definitely not needed. So that method I just described to you guys works perfect for um, all these parts, the mast, both wings, and the base plate. Um, and on the, on the main wing, on the big wing, um, it's best to start with the flat side. So glass the flat side. Um, trim it, flip it over, then glass the curved side because the curved will give you that, again, that allow you to have the space to um, pour a thin bead of resin going all around the part. Um, so that works for all these pretty straightforward. Um, the fuselage is a little different. We'll get to that next. Okay, so with the fuselage. Um, what you want to do is you want to start with the flat bottom part and just strips going down um, exactly how many will be in the in the directions my recommendations that come along with it um, but yeah first do the part you know f find put some something to hold it up so it's not going to tip over and glass the flat underside and then once that hardens up, just like all the other parts, trim it nice and tight to the edge. And then flip it over. And um, just like the other parts, it's best to just use a skinny plank of wood um, to, you know, imagine if this was just like a little piece of wood that you had to balance the part um, so it stands up like so. And then take your glass. Um, and your next layers are just going to go over the top and have them hang down off the edge. Um, so just for example, if this was your glass, you know, it'll easily hold to the curve and you'll have a little extra hanging down. And again, when it's actual fiberglass with the resin, It'll be transparent, easy to see, and um, you'll be able to see what's going on. And another tip is when you get to when you get to both ends of the um, fuselage, it can be kind of tricky to do, um, especially if you're doing a hand layup. It's going to be hard to get the the fiberglass to hold to that shape. It can be a little tricky, um, but you really I'm just for example, again, I'm just going to use this. You really don't have to stress too much about it because even if you just cut your um, fiberglass piece and it ends right there, you know, it'll be able to hold there and that's okay because you can just put, um, this isn't a structural part. You can just glass this over with epoxy if you want just to keep it watertight. Um, so that, that's the easiest way to do it. I mean, I do recommend, um, you know, getting the, the, the glass to form um, there, but, you know, a quick and easy way is just simply not to worry about it. Um, so that's an easy way to overcome that. And th this is where um, using the 3.7 ounce glass helps a lot because it helps to hug that curve if it was any heavier it'd be a little more difficult and you have to you might have to go with this method if you're using like six ounce or anything heavier than that but the 3.7 it can it can hug that form um, decently um, 
you know, you might have to check on it every now and then as it cures, but, um, so yeah, and then once again, once that cures, the top side, you've already, you've already glassed this, leave this edge hanging here, and then pour a bead going down the edge around the whole part, let that cure, and then trim it off, trim it tight, you'll be able to get a nice, a nice corner, um, to the part. So I'd recommend glassing all these parts separately. And then once they're trimmed, um, you don't have to trim them perfectly and sand them perfectly smooth, but um, once they're cleaned up pretty nice, uh, it comes to joining them together, which is two ways you can do it. Um, but yeah, basically, you know, here's your center line, and then you can see where the front wing's supposed to go. Line it up, it's as easy as that and um, you're good to go. And the ways about doing it are if, an easy way is just to cut little squares of fiberglass, layer them. You know, you might only, you know, do two or three layers at a time. Trim, sand, come back, another two or three. Um, again, I'll explain how many I'd recommend. Um, if you were to go this way. So that's one way. Um, the easiest probably takes the longest, but uh, definitely the simplest way to do it. Another way is if you, if you have um, chopped fiberglass microfibers. Um, it's basically like fiberglass powder. Um, you can take that, mix it in a cup with epoxy, and mix it till it turns into like a peanut butter consistency. Um, and it's really useful because you can just put globs of it here, press apart, and then smooth out the um, the crease line right here. And you can leave it just like that. And I've done that, and that's worked. Um, but you can also put the same thing with the, uh, with the putty. Put it there, smooth out the edge, and then put um, a few layers going like this, um, just for extra support. Um, so that's one way of doing it. If you really want to get fancy, when I, for my um, ready to fly foils, I, you know, I um, router out and I pour in some inserts so you can bolt on the wing, screw on the ring, on, on the wing. Um, so you can do that, but that takes a little more time and effort. But the easiest way, again, is just to take the, take the squares, put them like this, sand them out. Um, and yeah, that's, that's definitely the easiest way. Okay, so joining the um, mask to the fuselage, two pencil marks clearly telling you exactly where it's supposed to go. Um, again, you can you can mess around with the epoxy putty if um, you're going that route, but if you don't have the microfibers, don't worry. You can just the same way, just take a sheet, um, size it up so it overlaps just a little bit, place it, and um, wet it out, glass it and um, follow the recommended, you know, how many I'd, I'd recommend um, on each side. And then when you're done, trim it up, sand it, sand it smooth, um, fill in any missed spots if you have any, and um, that'll be a solid joint right there. Okay, so joining the base plate to the mast is um, pretty much the same as uh, the other joints. Is you just take the base plate, there's a, there's a curved edge, and then there's a cornered edge. Um, the cornered edge sits on the board, so your board sits on this side. The curved faces the bottom, faces the water. Um, so you just find the center of this, very easy, make a line, place it right in the center, and just like before, easiest, cheapest way to do it is just take a square um, of glass, get it in that joint and just layer them on this side, the other side. Um, this, this joint you really, definitely the highest stress joint, um, but if you put enough on here and sand in between your layers and make sure everything cures nicely, it'll, it'll be a solid joint. Okay, so that was just a brief overview of um, how to put the kit together. 
and that was just my um, easy cheap bare bones way to do it and that's how I started doing them and I never really had a problem with it um, you can get as fancy as you want um, with vacuum bagging and um, whatnot but again like I said you can go to Home Depot and get all the supplies you need to put this together for I don't know like 30 bucks something like that and um, you'll have in the end you'll have a foil that you can bolt on to whatever board you want and cruise around and have a great time um, so yeah when, once you get it all together you can sand it smooth and paint it over with uh, extra resin a few times to get a nice smooth finish um, but one thing I just want to stress is it, it's really not obviously you know do the best you can to get the best um, foil but not everything has to be perfect you can have um, you know a rough spot here and there and um, you know it, it doesn't all have to be so smooth and perfect um, in order to work I've, I've some of the first ones I've ever done were by my standards today terrible um, as far as finish quality went and they still flew great um, and they still worked and they were a lot of fun so you know, as much time as you put into it is, you know, you just you put in a lot of time, you'll probably end up with something looking really good at the end. Um, but you can do it quick and easy and still have something that works um, and holds up and lasts. Um, so, yeah, of course, any other questions, make sure to email me. I'll be sure to respond to them quickly. Um, so, yeah, hopefully that just gave you an idea as to what you're getting into with this kit. Um, I really try my best to make it as easy as possible to, well, force somebody to put together. Um, so, thanks guys.